Wad 1, Rut Row, Thrusters. For part one and with a running 12 minute clock, partners will row a total of 1,000 meters for time. Partners can share the work any way they want. Once the 1,000 meters are complete, part two begins with the clock continuing from part one. For part two, partners will perform an AMRAP of you go, I go, with each partner doing complete rounds with ascending reps. For the first round, partner one will perform three barbell thrusters and either six toes above hips or six knee raises depending on the division. Round two will be partner two performing four barbell thrusters and either eight toes above hips or eight knee raises depending on division. Round three will be partner one again performing five barbell thrusters and either 10 toes above hips or 10 knee raises depending on division. This you go, I go pattern continues until the time cap. Wad one standards. The row. The athlete's feet do not have to be strapped in. The damper can be whatever the athlete chooses. Before the wad starts, the monitor should be reset to count down from 1,000 meters to zero. Don't touch the handle before the MC says go. Partners can break up the work any way they want. No hand tag is required. The athlete finishing the row cannot get off the rower until 1,000 meters have been rowed. The athlete doing the first round of thrusters cannot touch the bar until the judge confirms the row is complete. Thrusters. This is a standard barbell thruster in which the barbell moves from the bottom of a front squat to full lockout overhead with the hips, knees, and arms fully extended and the bar directly over the body midline. The bar starts on the ground. If the barbell is dropped, it must settle on the ground before the athlete picks it up for the next repetition. The first rep can be a squat clean into a thruster. Hanging core variations. Intermediates. Intermediates must do toes above hips. The toes of both feet must rise above the hips. The hips must be fully open at the bottom with the heels behind the vertical plane of the bar and no part of the feet touching the ground or any object. An overhand, underhand, or mixed grip are permitted. The inactive partner cannot touch the thruster bar until the hanger is off their bar. For novice and masters, they will do knees above hips. The top of the knees in this case must rise above the hips. The hips must be fully open at the bottom with the heels behind the vertical plane of the bar and no part of the feet touching the ground or any object. An overhand, underhand, or mixed grip are permitted. The inactive partner cannot touch the thruster bar until the hanger is off their bar. Thruster variations. Intermediates. Males, 95 pounds. Females, 65 pounds. For novice and masters, males, 65 pounds. Females, 45 pounds. Score 1A. Time to complete the 1,000 meter row. Score 1B. Total reps completed of the AMRAP. Wad 2, Jumpin' Jack Snatch. With a 10 minute time cap, we have an EMOM every minute on the minute of 10 dumbbell alternating synchro snatches with the remainder of the minute to accumulate max box overs. Partners can share the box overs any way they want and the goal is to accumulate 100 box overs. Wad 2 standards. Dumbbell alternating synchro snatches. The dumbbell snatch starts with the dumbbell on the ground and finishes with the dumbbell directly overhead with the hips and knees both extended. At the bottom of the movement, both heads of the dumbbell must touch the ground. The dumbbell must be lifted overhead in one motion. Touch and go is permitted. Bouncing the dumbbell is not allowed. Athletes must alternate arms after each repetition. The dumbbell must be lowered below the top of the athlete's head before they can switch hands for the next rep. The non-lifting hand and arm cannot be in contact with the body during the repetition. The reps are considered synchro when the partners have the dumbbells locked out overhead at the same time. If one partner gets there first, they have to wait for the other partner to get there to get credit. Box overs. Athletes must get both feet on top of the box before dismounting on the opposite side. Athletes cannot just jump over the box. Athletes do not need to stand up completely while on top of the box. They may face any direction while mounting and dismounting. No part of the athlete's body other than the bottom of the feet 
may touch the box to assist any part of the movement or catch balance. Athletes cannot cross the box corner to corner. The inactive partner cannot start a box over until both feet of the active partner are on the ground. Partners can share the work any way they want. Box overs are not synchro. There will be one box per team. If the division is mixed sex intermediate, athletes are responsible for flipping the box. Dumbbell variations. Intermediates, males 50 pounds, females 35 pounds. For novice and masters, males 35 pounds, females 20 pounds. Box variations. Intermediate men 24 inches, all others 20 inches. Jump variations. Intermediates must use two feet to jump up, but may step down. For novice and masters, they may step up and down, but may jump if they want. Score, time to complete. If incomplete at the time cap, the score will be cap plus total reps completed. Wad three, clean lunges and dirty shoulders. Wad three is a 12 minute AMRAP for intermediates of 24 feet of dumbbell walking lunges, 12 dumbbell cleans, and six wall walks. And for novice or masters, it's 24 feet of dumbbell walking lunges, 12 dumbbell cleans, and 12 dumbbell shoulder to overhead. Partners share the work any way they want. Wad three standards. Dumbbell walking lunges. The athlete must stand upright with both dumbbells hanging at the sides with the arms extended and feet together with toes behind a marked line. The athlete must alternate which foot leads for each rep. The trailing knee must make contact with the ground at the bottom of each lunge. The weight must remain in position for the duration of the repetition. The 24 feet are complete when the heels of both feet are past the line marking 24 feet. If at any point a lunge is not performed properly or a dumbbell touches the ground, the athlete must restart from the last six foot increment that they crossed. If sharing the work, the inactive partner cannot touch their dumbbells until the active lunger has crossed one of the six feet marks and has set the dumbbells down. Dumbbell cleans. For the clean, the dumbbells begin on the ground outside the athlete's feet. Touch and go is permitted and only one head of each dumbbell is required to touch the floor between repetitions. No bouncing. A muscle clean, power clean, squat clean, or split clean may be used as long as the dumbbells come up to the shoulders in one motion. The hips and knees are fully extended, the feet are in line, and the rear head of the dumbbell is clearly over or slightly behind the center of the athlete's body. If sharing the work, the inactive partner cannot touch their dumbbells until the active partner sets theirs down on the ground. Wall walks. Wall walks begin with the athlete face down, feet flat against the wall, hands off the floor like a hand release push-up, and the entire front of the body touching the ground. As the athlete pushes their hands against the floor like a push-up, they will kick up onto the wall and begin walking their hands toward the wall as their feet walk up the wall. Both hands must touch a taped line that will be on the floor with the edge of the tape furthest from the wall at 12 inches. After both hands touch the marked line, the athlete will walk their hands away from the wall with both hands being at least 24 inches away from the wall before the feet drop to the floor. If sharing the work, no hand tag is necessary. Dumbbell shoulder to overhead. The athlete must first get the dumbbells from the ground to the shoulders with the rear head of the dumbbell touching the shoulders and the hands below the ears and the athlete standing fully upright. A press, push press, push jerk, or split jerk are all permitted as long as the finish position is achieved. The rep is credited when the dumbbells are locked out overhead. The athlete's arms, hips, and legs must be fully extended before they lower the dumbbells. The center of both dumbbells must be over or slightly behind the center of the athlete's body with the feet in line. The rear heads of the dumbbells must touch the shoulders with each rep. If sharing the work, the inactive partner cannot touch their dumbbells until the active partner sets their dumbbells on the ground. Dumbbell variations. Intermediates. Males 50 pounds, females 35 pounds. For novice and masters, Males 35 pounds, females 20 pounds. Score, 
reps completed. Wad four, squat, flop, and pop. This is a quick one with just a five minute time cap. Partners sharing the work any way they want will perform 27 front squats, nine bar facing burpees, 21 front squats, seven bar facing burpees, 15 front squats, five bar facing burpees, nine front squats, three bar facing burpees, then three front squats and one bar facing burpee. Wad four standards, front squats. The first rep starts by cleaning the preloaded bar from the floor into the front rack position. A rep is completed by maintaining the bar in the front rack position, lowering the hip crease below the knee and then standing up until the hips and knees are fully extended. Any grip is permitted, standard, Frankenstein, or I dream a genie. As long as the bar remains in the front rack position. If sharing the work, the bar must be set down on the ground and cannot be handed off at front rack height for a transfer. Bar facing burpee. For the bar facing burpees, athletes must use a barbell with 18 inch plates. Burpees must be performed perpendicular to and facing the barbell. Athletes may jump or step back to reach the bottom position. Chest and thighs must touch the ground with the head behind the barbell. The hands and feet must remain inside the width of the plates. Stepping and or jumping back to the starting position are both permitted. Bar over variations. Intermediates must jump over the barbell using a two foot takeoff. For novice and masters, they may use single leg jumping or step over the bar. Barbell variations. Intermediates, males, 95 pounds, females, 65 pounds. For novice and masters, males, 75 pounds, females, 55 pounds. Score, time to complete. If incomplete at the time cap, the score will be cap plus total reps completed. 